Is your skin feeling dry or cracked? Or are your lips feeling chapped and a little on the crusty side? Don't worry, you are not alone. And I think I might have a remedy for you. In this video, I'm going to show you what preventative measures I take to help combat the effects of cold weather on my skin, especially when my makeup is no longer sitting as smoothly as I like it. This helps keep my skin hydrated and moisturized and my lips plump. Let's get into this video. I firstly start off by exfoliating my skin skin with a simple tube ingredient homemade exfoliant that I make in no longer than two minutes. It literally takes half a lemon and some fine brown sugar. I have a video on how to make this exfoliant scrub on my channel. I'll link it up at the top of the screen. Keep an eye out for it. It's so simple and effective. There are many benefits to exfoliating your skin in case you didn't know, including removing dead skin cells which sit on the surface of the skin. And those skin cells gives the appearance of a caked up makeup. You know, some Sometimes when you apply your makeup and you're like, why isn't my makeup applying smoothly? Why is there so much texture on my skin? Well, most of the times that is because you have dead skin cells sitting on the surface of your skin. And with this exfoliant or any other exfoliant that you might do, as long as it's appropriate, it could help remove that and give you a nice smooth base. Exfoliation also helps unclog pores. It allows the skin products to penetrate the skin more effectively. It stimulates skin renewal improves skin tone and clarity and also helps with anti-aging. I gently apply this exfoliant mixture to my skin using mainly the tip of my fingers for better control and less pressure because girl we're not trying to rip our skin open here okay. I'm careful to avoid my eyes and that skin under your eyes like please do not scrub there. Don't do it. Don't do it. Walk away from it. I focus mainly on my areas of concern, which are my forehead and around my nose because I have blackheads. I find that when the weather changes or when I'm not keeping up with my skincare consistently, the skin on my forehead feels really funny. And when I apply makeup, that's where I really see, like that's my problem area right there. So when I'm exfoliating, I make sure to focus on my forehead and around my nose, especially by like the cheeks. That's where my pores are screaming <laughs> my pores are screaming for attention right there so I those are my focus points but that can be different for you see what areas you need more attention on like maybe your chin under your lip and then focus on those areas maybe scrub a little bit more there not harder very gentle very soft but just give it more attention and once I feel that my skin is fully coated and it feels almost sticky I wash this off with lukewarm warm water and then I apply a mask. Now you can use whatever mask you have at home or whatever mask that you can get around you. In this video I used a deep pore cleansing hard dry mask which my skin guru gave me. Her skin is amazing. If she gave it to me, then I'm using it, okay? Her name is Vanessa Nozzolini. She has an Instagram page. If you ever have like questions about skincare and stuff, hit her up. She's amazing, honestly. Some of the benefits of masks on the skin includes oil balancing, which I really need because I have a very oily T-zone, detoxification, skin soothing, nourishment and replenishment of the skin with essential nutrients, which can be in the minerals in the masks. I allow this mask to dry completely before washing it off. I wash it off with lukewarm water and I tap my skin with a towel to you know dry the skin. Then I moved on to my normal skin routine. I tone my skin always. I've been using this Vichy Purité Thermal toner for years and it's been doing me good. Then I used the Ink Key or is it the One in Key list? I don't know how you say that but I used their Hyaluronic Acid Serum. It has 2% Hyaluronic Acid. It's it's not my usual La Roche-Posay B5 Hyaluronic that has 5% Hyaluronic Acid but also costs an arm and a leg. I was going through a moment so I needed to I needed something a little bit more affordable and so I used this one. In fact my sister actually um, bought this for me when I was in America over the summer and I really liked it so I got it again. I found it in Boots if you live in England. I bought this one in Boots. You could also get it on Amazon. I will link it in the description 
description section below. Then I moisturized my skin with this e.l.f. skin holy hydration face cream which my sister and the vlogger Aliyah's face put me on to. It's not my usual products that I used but the last time I had to buy products your girl had really low pockets and she had to make do. And this has been doing me good. I'm not mad at it at all. It's actually been really like nourishing for the skin. And then I finish off with my SPF. Now you can get a moisturizer that already has SPF in it but mine doesn't so or does it? Actually it does. Take that back. That e.l.f. moisturizer has SPF 30 but I like a little bit more SPF on my skin so I use this La Roche Posay which I've been using for years. It's an oil control SPF and it does me good. So that's what I do and then that's it. Aside from the exfoliation and the masks which I'm going to do once a week, everything else, the toning, the hyaluronic acid, the moisturizing and the SPF, I do that daily. Sometimes twice a day. I'm not going to say twice a day every day because some days I might fall asleep before doing my skincare at the end of the day. Don't judge me, okay? <laughs> I just feel like skincare is extremely important for our skin, especially as we age. And you guys know I'm not a young girl anymore, so my skin is getting really sensitive. It's losing that elasticity is losing that bounce that I used to have when I was younger. And if this is the same for you as well, it is extremely important that you focus on your skincare. Caring for your skin helps shield it from harmful elements that can cause premature aging and damage and we don't want that sis we don't want that regular skincare can also prevent common skin conditions like acne and eczema and things like that and it could also help minimize the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles which give the appearance of aging and that's exactly what i'm trying to combat there you have it you guys these are the steps that i do to zhuzh up my skin and prepare it for winter time because the weathers are just so dry and cold and harsh on your skin. I hope this video has been valuable. I will just know that I'm not a professional when it comes to this field. So if your skin is sensitive or requires professional care, please do seek out the advice of a professional in this matter, okay? But I think for the most part, if you have like normal skin, whether it be dry, oily, or combination skin, I think this will be fine. I actually tried this on someone with really dry skin. I'm talking like flakes on their face and blackheads around their nose and the scrub was just magical. It cleared out all of the flakiness that they had like all over here and like in the t-zone area of their face it cleared that all out and then the mask just helped get rid of you know blackheads it didn't take everything out but it took a considerable amount out and you can see the difference in their skin afterwards and then i finished it up with my normal skincare which is the toning the hyaluronic acid the moisturizing the spf and it was chef's kiss their skin was grateful for it okay so go on ahead and try this out if you have been feeling like your skin needs Needs something. If you have any questions or any comments or any advice you want to share for anyone else watching this, any tips that they might benefit from, please leave them down below. For every product that I use, I will try to find an Amazon link for it. If I have one, I will definitely put it in the description area, description part of this video below. So you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much if you made it to the end of this video. I will just kindly ask you to subscribe to my channel only because it helps me with my engagement and with putting my channel out there, you know, YouTube algorithms, all of that. Yeah. And it also gives me like a boost for my morale, you know, a little boost of confidence to keep going and to keep creating videos. So with that said, thank you so much. Take care of yourselves, you guys. Stay warm, <laughs> stay warm, and I will catch you in my next video. It's your girl Jenna signing out. Toodles.